Hello, my name is Doug Darkus. Today we're going to be talking about converting between the metric system and the English system of measurement. Why is it important to be able to convert between the two systems? Well, good or bad, the United States doesn't use the same system of measurement as the rest of the world. In today's global society, it's important to be able to go from one system to the other. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to convert measurements between the two measurement systems. We're going to do this using dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis uses a property called the multiplicative identity property. It just says that I can multiply anything by one and it won't change in value. For example, five times one is still five, 27 times one is still 27. One won't just be a normal one. An example would be one week is the same as seven days. So if I put one week over seven days, that would be equal to one. And I could multiply by this and be able to change units and still keep the value the same. In our first example, it's estimated that erosion of the Horseshoe Falls, part of Niagara Falls, is less than 12 inches per year. And I want to convert the 12 inches into centimeters. So I'm going to start with 12 inches. I'm going to multiply this by 2.54 centimeters over one inch. I can do this because 2.54 centimeters over one inch is equal to one, and so I won't change the value. The reason why I'm choosing this is because now the 12 inches I started with, if I want, I could put that, that over one, and the inches in the numerator would cancel with inches in the denominator. And now I can just multiply straight across. 12 times 2.54 is equal to 30.48. And the unit I have is centimeters. And the denominator, 1 times 1 is 1. And so my answer is 30.48 centimeters. In another example, the largest meteorite known is still embedded in the ground in Africa and is estimated to weigh 70 tons. We want to convert 70 tons to kilograms. Now to do this, I need to know that one ton is 2,000 pounds, and I need to know that one kilogram is about equal to 2.21 pounds. The about equal means that it has been rounded to the nearest hundredth. If I need a more precise measurement, I would have to round it to another digit. To do this problem, I'm going to start with 70 kilogram or 70 tons. I'm going to multiply 70 tons by 2,000 pounds over one ton. That again is going to allow me to cancel tons in the numerator and the denominator. I'm also then going to multiply by one kilogram over 2.21 pounds. That's going to allow the pounds to cancel, one in the numerator and one in the denominator. Now I can multiply straight across. 70 times 2,000, 140,000 kilograms over 2.21. When I do the division, I get approximately 63,348 kilograms. Again, I have to use the approximately equal to sign because I used an approximation in my calculation. Our third example, at zero degrees Celsius, the speed of sound is 330 meters per second. I want to convert 330 meters per second to miles per hour. I need to know lots of information to do this problem. I need to know that 1,000 meters is one kilometer. I need to know 1.61 kilometers is about one mile. I need to know there's one hour is the same as 60 minutes, and one minute is the same as 60 seconds. So to set this up, I'm going to start with 330 meters per one second, and I'm going to multiply by one, 
and one is going to take the form of one kilometer over 1,000 meters. I do this, that's going to allow my meters to cancel, one in the numerator, one in the denominator. I then multiply this by one mile over 1.61 kilometers. Again, this allows my kilometers to cancel. I then multiply by 60 seconds per one minute. This will allow my seconds in the denominator at the beginning to cancel with my seconds in the numerator. And finally, I multiply by 60 minutes per one hour. And that will allow my minutes to cancel. So if I look in my numerators, I only have miles. And in my denominator, I only have hours. And that's what we want, miles per hour. If I multiply straight across 330 times 1 times 1 times 60 times 60, I get 1,188,000. In the denominator, I get 1,610. And that's miles per hour. And this is approximately 738 miles per hour. Again, I have to use an approximate. So the metric in English unit conversions, we have to use dimensional analysis, or the property of multiplicative identity, which means multiply by one, so we eliminate the unwanted units. We also have to know some basic unit conversions. 